Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a real quick one today. I, if I had to title this one, I'd call it Ain't That a Slap in the Face? And we know what's going on. I mean, every, <laughs> Will Smith slapping Chris Rock during the Oscars, and I, I guess, I, I mean, I don't even know if it's real. At this point, my the extent to which I care about it is is to the extent that I care about my people waking up. Look, in that same Los Angeles County, for instance, only let's talk about let's talk about wealth, right? That's what we're here to talk about. In that same Los Angeles County, on six hundred billion dollars of construction spend, only three percent is going to minorities. I'm talking that same place where we're so concerned about a physical slap. We're getting we're getting slapped every day business-wise. And that's 3% minorities and as you know, this is Hollywood, y'all. So minorities is white women, it's LGBTQ, it's Latino, it's every other nationality that we could name and everyone gets to ride on the blood sweat and tears of the 65 1965 civil rights bill almost everyone but us so in that three percent what fraction of that percentage of business do you think went to blacks see this is what i want us to start thinking and talking about and pressing our legislators to deal with. And I, I, I don't give a damn about Will slapping Chris Rock. What I care about is us being slapped every day. Why is this so important? It's important because folks that own a construction company like us, like me and my wife, you give us you give us a hundred thousand dollar contract guess who we're gonna hire we're gonna hire black folks unapologetically we're gonna go and find those black cement workers and artisans and welders and and lawyers and accountants why we're gonna do that because we sit at the numbers I talk the numbers all the time we sit at Five dollars median net worth of the black woman, seventeen hundred dollars median net worth of the black family, and how do we how do we change that? Well, we change it politically, which we've talked about in other videos. We also change it with businesses. So how do we change it? I was saying we change it with legislation and we also change it with how we go about our own finances but we also change it with businesses we are in black folks tend to populate major cities like houston you see i'm standing in front of the houston permitting center right now where folks go to get their permits to start a, a, a building project for instance and what I want, what I want to have known is that, look, y'all, we keep buying this notion that we're all the same as far as minorities, and we're just not. First of all, culturally, I think that's, I don't think it's right to do that because when you flatten people's culture, you know, you're kind of forcing them to assimilate with whatever whatever you find to be the quote unquote right culture. I don't think that's right. Everybody's culture has a right in the sun. As a black person, I am not the same. I am not the same as a white woman lesbian. She's got totally different issues and, and, and principles than I do. I am not the same as a, um, first generation Latino man who um, is is 
trying to make ends meet. I'm, I don't have the same struggles that he does. It's, it's different. He deserves to have his own voice. And damn it, I deserve to have my own voice. Now, when you deal with these, you deal with these offices because that because everything is kind of banked under the same heading as minority, then you can start playing with the numbers. So then you can say, okay, well, we, hooray, we met our 20% minority goal. But then when you start looking into the numbers, well, you met your 20% minority goal, but 15% is white women. And then 5% is other, you know, black families, Latino families, LGBTQ. I mean, it's, it's you, you see that, you see what I mean? So what is my bottom line? My bottom line is that, look, you know, be entertained. I mean, I'm, no one's trying to take our entertainment away. Entertainment is important, but I'm saying, let's put it in its proper place. While we were looking at and continue on Facebook to talk about Will slapping Chris, the owner of that building is increasing their wealth. The building that they had the Oscars in, the theater, the movies that they were talking about that won these awards, those studios are adding to their wealth. The, the TV station that it was on is adding to its wealth. And all the while, we're spending our time majoring in the minors, talking about who slapped who. Let's get beyond this. Let's start talking about ways to increase our wealth. One way is figuring out talking to your legislators, talking to your city officials, how many black owned businesses are being granted these building contracts. Start there. That would be a worthy fight and that would certainly change our trajectory as it relates to wealth. Talk to you soon. Yo, Waba, baby.